Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got Water Marble Wednesday, and I'm using polishes from All Mixed Up Lacquer. I've started off with Meltique's Formula 2 and Sinful Colors Whiteboard as my base color. And I'll be water marbling with the whole neon collection from All Mixed Up Lacquer, and this is Grape Squisher. And it's some, some blue. <laughs> and Camera Freak Out. And Oh my God, Gillard and Angelicious baby. What's red doing here? And pink. You guys know I love pink. So I'm just starting off with a room or a cup full of room temperature water. Just nothing special, not filtered or nothing. And I am building a bullseye. I did run that toothpick around the cup to make that first ring spread good to the edge of the cup. And I'm just gonna drop drop of each color in, occasionally tapping the side to make sure they're spreading good. And we're just gonna build that bullseye up one drop at a time. Now, these polishes are new to me. Um, they, uh, I've seen um, All Mixed Up Lacquer on Instagram a bunch and I, I broke down and bought these a little while back. Uh, they were having a special, and then they were on top of them being on sale. They were having a flash sale, so I just could not resist. I think I got all all of them, including shipping, for like $22. It was ridiculous. Cannot pass up something like that. And it's nice to find neons that will water marble nicely. I saw pictures on their page um, showing Manny's, Manny's with using these polishes that had been water marbled and I was sold. I was like, I want them all. Um, I will leave a link for All Mixed Up Lacquer down below so you can go check them out. So I've got my little design drawn in and I'm going to dip my first fingernail in and clean up the excess off the top with a toothpick. And slowly pull out, and there you go. Some wild neon water marbling. Oh, hold on, I was about to forget a step. I need to run around the edge to break the seal so I don't pull up any of that design. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame. Ugh. But now we're gonna yank this off, this latex off with my little tweezers. And I just kind of pull it till it breaks on one side and then, you know, Pull it all off. But there we go. And I've got a little bit of bubbles on the end, and I thought it'd be smart and just tap it, but it kind of smeared it. I should have waited for it to dry a little bit longer. For future reference, Tina, come on. And we're going to build up another bullseye. Now, that last one was run at like 1.25 speed, and I've sped this one up to one and a half. Um, and on this one, I'm going to show you how I dip two fingers. I've had a lot of requests about that. And it's totally doable. I just run the risk of bumping the edge because I'm using such a small container for my water marble that, you know, I get all bullish in it, you know, like a bull in a china shop. And it's, um, <clears throat> for me, it's just easier to do one at a time. I'm able to kind of control where the design goes and, and everything just a little bit better. But I did want to show it on this one because I have been asked, like I said, many, many times. You can totally dip, too. You could always do your pointer finger and pinky together and then your middle finger and, you know, your well, your pointer and your middle and your pinky and your ring fingers. You just, you know, do it however you want to. I've seen people dip off four of them. Now, I don't, I've never been able to do that, but it's it, it has been done. It's just what you feel like, you know, doing. There we go with our cleanup, and see, I did pretty good on that one. I didn't bump nothing. Yay! I'm going to break that seal again, just like I did last time with my little water marble tool, and then pull this latex off with my little tweezers. Snap and pull. I used to kind of pull it up over my nail, but I've messed up a few designs doing it that way, so now I just do the snap pull method. It, seems to work better for me. 
Okay, now I'm going to do this, <clears throat> excuse me, last one, and I'm going to speed it up really fast because you've already seen me do this twice. So I figured I would go ahead and show it, but I would just speed it up a little bit. Tap, 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 get that stuff to spread. Now, overall, I was really, really happy with how well these polishes water marbled, and I would recommend them. I know a lot of people have trouble finding polishes that will water marble nicely. These worked really well. <clears throat> Got a frog in my throat or something. It's that time of year, I guess. And I'm just doing my little zigzag chevron design. And I know I've been doing this one here a lot lately. It is one of my favorites. I had a little bubble I'm trying to pop. Um, but I've done a lot of neon water marbles, and I wanted to kind of do a different design. And I hadn't done this one on my channel yet with the neons, so I decided to go ahead and give it a try today. Get all these bottles out of my way, and we're going to dip that pinky nail. Ta-da! Cleaning all that excess up with my toothpick. And I've got a bubble. I'm, I think it popped. Yep. There we go. And once again, we're going to run a tool. Or you can use a toothpick for this or an orange wood stick. I just like to break that seal so that when I pull it up, pull up the latex, it doesn't grab hold of that whole design and just pull it up off my nail. I have had that happen before. I'm going to do my cleanup and top coat off camera. So here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching and until next time, be good to yourself.